essentially this piece of hardware um, came into my life at the right time. It allows me to record various instruments into it and it plays them back in a loop, uh, which allows me to layer things up, um, adding the beats, the bass, the guitar, the ukulele, the harmonica, whatever I want, and layering it up in some sort of a one-man band style. Um, and so for the next two years I did, I worked on this yacht, I bought the loop pedal before I left, and for two years I spent uh, a lot of my time madly in my tiny little cabin playing on my loop pedal, learning how to do things in time, timings, everything with this thing, and um, basically just going crazy in the middle of the ocean on my own. Um, but I did see over 20 different countries in that time, and we really, the boat had a great itinerary, so we moved a lot, but by the time I came back after two years, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Um, I got back to Cape Town and subsequently actually ended up co-founding a company called Green Pop, which plants trees. Um, that's a, a separate um, talk altogether though. And a month later, I had my first performance on my loop pedal at a club that was in late 2010. And since then, my trajectory with my music and Green Pop has been rather um, fast, I guess, or just a bit intense, really. I've played all the major festivals and I'm really enjoying being in this space and making music. Um, so how does this all tie into what's happening here today? Uh, well, for me, the main theme was, firstly, while I was um, traveling and while I was working on that boat, I didn't have anyone to teach me anything, but I had YouTube and I had the internet and um, guitar websites where I could learn any song I wanted. Um, actually, my, my favorite teacher of all times um, all the time is a guy called Adam Gusso. He's a harmonica teacher, um, all on YouTube. He's uh, actually a professor at a, a university in the States, and he is still to this day the most eloquent and beautiful interactive teacher I think I've ever um, had the pleasure of um, working with in some sense. And I used to just watch all of his videos like mad, and that's how I learned harmonica while I was out there. Um, and further to that, I feel like this piece of hardware Kind of in the same way, um, a lot of you out there are able to be one-man startup companies. Um, it has allowed me to be a one-man everything. When it was born out of necessity, I didn't have anyone else to play music with. This was kind of my company, or it was, it was everything. It was my band. And, uh, you know, just now before I started playing, I used my iPhone to tune my guitar with the iPhone tuner. Um, it's the best tuner I have. I've got three tuners at home. Um, my iPhone app is by far the most um, on point. And so I used that. Not to mention I used it to get here on Google Maps. Um, but yeah, my, uh, I guess it all ties in for me with this being a, allowing me to be like a one-man band, a one-man company. The beauty for the, of the technological age in that sense is uh, very relevant to me with my music. Um, so let me give you a quick... Uh, explanation of how it works and we'll just make a song, build one up and take it from there. Alright, so I've got a couple of phases on this pedal, recording phase one, two and three. I've also got this uh, voice pedal next to me, which allows me to have delay, 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 delay. And a really, really deep voice. <laughs> and it also allows me this lovely lady's voice, <clears throat> um, which I will not be using for this next song. All right, so we're going to start with the first phase, and we're going to start by recording a first loop. And it's going to sound like this. That pretty much just starts playing over now, round in circles. I can add something to it, or I can take it away. So we're gonna add some beats next. All right, so that's the second loop. And the third loop, some more guitar. Turn this up a little bit again.
that's you You come on, help me break through Cause you got power oh, You're living in your emotions oh, And you got power oh, Now don't stop your heart showing it no no performing with a full seated audience, um, but new experiences, good for you, learning. Um, all right, so um, maybe before I move on, where's Mateo, is he in here? Yeah, hi. Um, it's probably relevant to say that while I'm able to do this one-man band thing, and this pedal certainly has allowed me to, on the technological level, uh, do something very different from uh, someone that's just got a guitar and harmonica otherwise, um, I did realize there was something falling short when it comes to bands. I mean, there's the, the thing about bands is that there's individuals that make those bands special. So from the beginning, I've been collaborating with artists um, who add a lot of value on that collaborative front. And one of them is my very good friend here, yeah, Matteo Emoleco, who will be joining us uh, right now. Give it up for Mo! Thank you. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes, it's a real privilege being here today. Um, thank you, Rob. This conference has gotten better and better every year. I'm sharing a stage with three of my closest friends in the world today as well, so that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, my name is Motel. I, I rap pretty well, I think. I'm a writer. Uh, I have a background in videography. I am currently working on my solo project. I'm equal doses of excited and terrified about it, as it goes. And as Jeremy alluded, I'm one of the collaborators along with another guy named Jamie Fall. Um, he's not here today, obviously, but that's okay, because Jamie plays the sax, so he doesn't get to say much on stage, which is fine, which, because I get to say more, as does he. No one really minds. What Jeremy does with this pedal is really interesting. To be able to play 
that many instruments, record them, build something up, break it down, and still maintain some semblance of coherence is, is insane, right? But having said that, technically, it's pretty remarkable. But that isn't enough, is it? I imagine a lot of people in this room know world-class engineers, developers, programmers who just never make it, especially in a commercial sense. And likewise with us, we know musicians who technically can play guitar and keyboard better than anyone else in the world, but they just they never quite make it to the point where they can package what they do, become moderately successful with it. So the question then becomes, what is the reason for that? What's missing? And Christo stole some of my thunder, but I'd like to suggest the reason for that is experience, right? When people internalize the world they live in, it's intellectual, but it's also very emotional, right? So when you're thinking always technical, you're forgetting the emotional. And having said that as well, um, the arts and science cannot live in vacuums, right? They have to interplay. So I'd like to suggest, and if you disagree, you're welcome to discuss with me later, the reason why a lot of musicians and a lot of developers in software houses don't succeed is because the experience isn't that great. Our jobs is to be experienced curators. If you're playing in the big leagues, which everyone in this room is playing in, technically you're already good enough. You need to spend more time thinking about the experience you give to people. So what have we learned um, over the last couple, well, the last 20 months or so about tailoring a good experience? I have maybe four suggestions. The first one is understand the context you're working in. That's essential, right? Understand the context and understand the conventions you're working with. Because conventions are where a lot of things become boring. Adhere to the ones that make sense. Don't adhere to the ones that do not make sense. So in the context of a smartphone app, for example, contextualizing it here, you know, pinch to zoom makes sense. We expect that to happen. When you don't do that, you're being stupid, right? It's, it's a convention for a reason. But if you look at airlines, not being allowed to use your phones in airplane mode because of some reason that's a lie is pretty stupid. They come in together, but that convention was dumb all along. The second thing I want to suggest is Always give consideration to the environment you are performing in or the environment your users are using your applications in. For us, we usually play in you know, a big kind of festivals and clubs, and that, there's a certain way you handle it, but here everyone is seated and everyone here is here to learn. So it wouldn't make sense if I came storming on stage and said, yo, 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 net profit, what the hell is going on? You guys want to party? You guys would be like, no, no, we don't. <laughs> That's not why we're here. <laughs> uh, where's that's Rob exactly Gilmore at? This conference, at a club, though. <laughs> this conference has gone to the dog. So that's the second thing. And then leave traces of your personality on everything you do, right? Even if people think you're boring, there's something about you that's interesting enough that you can leave traces of your personality on it. So in this case, Jeremy's favorite animal is a goat. It's kind of random. But now everyone sort of knows it because this goat is very prominent on the EP cover. And, and it's been named, called Fernando. People say they love Fernando. So we might merchandise that, who knows? You know, that's, that's important too. And the last thing, and everyone in this room understands, is get to a point when you've got something that's really, really good, but keep iterating, right? So minimal viable product, you're gonna keep iterating. What you're gonna see is a song we've done maybe two, 300 times now. So a lot of the things that we're doing now have been added recently. Some of them small, some of them big, but it all adds up to a product that's somewhat compelling and somewhat interesting. So, you know, make your products, pay attention to the code, make it good technically, but don't forget about the experience touches. And now I'm an experienced curate. I'd like to invite everyone in this room to please stand up. This is one of those songs that's really, really bouncy. And what tends to happen is you can see people want to stand up, but because no one else is doing it, people feel uncomfortable standing up. So I invite you all to stand up now. And uh, the chorus to the song as well um, is really simple. It goes, you're so cool, which he will sing. And the callback is, how are you going to be in my shoes? Really simple. You're so cool, how are you going to be in my shoes? Let's try that. You're so cool. Awesome. Beautiful. Let's do it.
we're gonna walk into. I don't feel shy, we're all doing this together, so we're gonna make it awesome. Check me out. Smooth direct off till that to do. Walk up to you. The bad eyes at you. Cause baby, you're so cool. How you gonna walk today in my shoes? And I said, I don't really know. But what I do know is no way I'm gonna let you go. Hold me fly, try to change your mind. So here goes nothing. My name is Shaq. I'm trying to show you something. Boom. Get you in a sack. Now I'm just running. But I really must know, must know. What if I'm in some invite? Would you entertain my advances? Or just vibe? Cause you're so cool. Your turn. Well, how you gonna be in my shoes? You're so cool. Come on. Well, how you gonna be in my shoes? You're so cool. Well, how you gonna be in my shoes? You're so cool. I'm going in. I wait, living out a dream inception I hate too much, but I've waited too much I have to taste too much to ignore it I'm here, in this place they pay attention Towards their prophecy Where they head Mr. Sack in the short skirt seat Put him in the mind like a semi With his ass walks in that She was a federal, a rap scene They was upset, got you Do a better act here before you get your ass beat And she says to me, you got a cool too And I got that baby, I sort of have to be Sit back while we do this Make your music to make you move Would you sit back for us, please? It's so cool oh, How you gonna be in my shoes? It's so cool Don't be shy, come on oh, How you gonna be in my shoes? It's so cool oh, How you gonna be in my shoes? It's so cool Yes oh, How you gonna be in my shoes? It's so cool So, are we having fun? Alright, I need your help, though, right? Follow my lead, follow my lead, Jimbo. Alright, drop that. Everybody, I said drop that. Front row, back row, keep going. I said drop that. Yeah. Alright, hit me. Beautiful, keep going. You guys in the back as well. Hit me. Chill, that's it too. Walk right up to you with bad eyes at you. Cause baby, you're so cool. How you gonna walk every day in my shoes? I said, I don't really know. But what I do know, there's no way I'm gonna let you go home. Before I try to change your mind, so here goes nothing. Now my name is Jess, I'm trying to show you some loving. How I get you in the set now, I'm just funning. But I must know, must know. What if I meant something by it? Would you entertain my advances or just an I'm Cause you're so cool. Why well, you gonna be in my shoes? Just so cool. Why well, you gonna be in my shoes? So cool. Why well, you gonna be in my shoes? Just so cool. Why well, you gonna be in my shoes? Just so cool. Alright, big play for the end. Alright. Go. Go. Three, two, one. Make that music stop bouncing. Bounce up, bounce up, bounce up, bounce up again. 